I think what I love most about practicing art is it starts out with an idea and I don't really know why I'm drawn to that particular thing. And then it hits me weeks after, years into the process, why this particular thing? I started doing this project at the beginning of the pandemic, taking walks in my neighborhood and exploring on foot, things that I never would think to do until there was nothing to do. I started noticing all of the houses and how they all look so different from each other. And when I started working again, I would find myself taking long drives home through different neighborhoods, not wanting to just go home only to go back to work again. And as I spent months doing this, I thought about what I wanted to say. I thought about income inequality, rich and poor neighborhoods segregated by race and class. I thought about our hyper-individualistic culture, all living in our small houses, separated and disconnected from each other, and how there's so much fear and the fear of the unknown. Some neighborhoods welcome me with curiosity and questions, others with anger and suspicion. I thought about my own fears in different neighborhoods with different people. Are they curious or upset? But what I do know about my work is that it's always been about community and connection, desperately wanting to connect to be together, yet feeling separate and afraid of closeness. Maybe a universal experience or a specifically American one. I think that it's been this way for a while, even though a pandemic has exasperated those feelings. And on May 25th, my show is opening, which will display all 127 plus houses. And who knows, maybe I painted yours.